most of all, you chose the light. Seems like another bird walked into your mind. Musician Tui Mamaki, formerly of the Mamaku Project, has just released her solo album Fly and will soon be touring her music around the country as she joins us now. It is so great to have you here, Tui. Thank you for having me. Thank you. That was beautiful what we were listening to there, really sort of very ethereal. Mm -hmm. uh, now, you were born in France, mm -hmm. but then you grew up in New Zealand, but you've just returned from living in Bulgaria. Yeah, I went there three years ago for a short time, which became a long time. The story, my love story with that country had a plan of its own. Why did you go there in the first place? When I was a child, I heard a recording that made me feel more than I had ever uh, with regards to music. It was the Mystère des Voix Bulgares, which is the uh, Bulgarian radio and television female choir. Wow. Exported to the West by a Swiss man. So this music stayed with me as a real inspiration and 20 years later I followed it. Yeah, and, and spent three years living in Bulgaria. Mm. Fascinating. So obviously you've been into music for a very long time. What got you into it? Is your family musical? My family is theatrical and musical. I uh, didn't come to it till my early 20s. And I think music has a plan for people. So uh, I guess one thing in my family is that they prioritise the idea of following your bliss. <laughs> and that's a really nice thing yeah. for families to prioritise, actually. And obviously you've done that. I mean, you've sung in groups, you've, you had that trio, and I hope I get this right, Acapella Nations, Perfect. which I'm assuming has got some uh, acapella thing to it. Uh, also the Ma Maku Project. Tell us about them. Ma Maku Project was a decade of collaboration and uh, cross-pollination between my French roots and Kiwi. So... That was um, involving circus and costumes and touring overseas, which all came to a close when I went to Bulgaria. Acapola Nations is the trio that is closest to the Bulgarian tradition with traditional repertoire and just three female voices. Extremely challenging as a vocalist and totally thrilling. It's really great to be extended like that. And now you're out on your own. Tell us a little bit mm. about the album. So this thing, <laughs> your baby, your precious. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> it's taken its time. It came from what I call a new silence. So there's a lot of changes that occurred from me going to Bulgaria, including the, the end of the previous project and the end of a relationship and a lot of who knows what's next. I'm not quite sure how we're going to work this out. But the traditional uh, Bulgarian folklore was the drive and inspiration and anchor throughout that whole thing. So odd meters, ornaments, close harmony, um, but my style. So all the songs are in English and just voice and guitar. Mm. So people who know music might understand those things you say like odd meters and mm -hmm. close harmony, but for people who might buy the album, how do you describe your music? How would you describe it to? I describe to, to it like? as hypnotic and uh, dreamy, folk, so the odd meters are things like, instead of having a, uh, a rock beat that's in four, you're going to have a seven, which in fruit terms would be called uh, apple, apple, pineapple, apple, apple, pineapple, apple, apple, ah, pineapple. Ah, nice. So you've got this lilt and asymmetry, which to the Western ear can seem destabilizing at first. Mm -hmm. And then if you let go of it, you start feeling its spiral is really quite uh, soothing. Something. Yeah, yeah, and what we heard at the beginning there was really very soothing. Mm. So tell us about your upcoming tour. Are you going to be travelling around the country? Yes. Um, starting in Auckland this Sunday at the Unitarian Church, which is a beautiful, good, uh, it's like being inside a giant tree. I'll be playing there with Basant Madhur on tabla. He's well versed in odd meters, but from the Indian tradition. And then we go to Rotorua, Wellington, Nelson, Christchurch, Dunedin, and back up to my hometown, the Tutakaka Coast, um, to finish it all. It'll be a beautiful, beautiful mm. place to finish, right? Thanks so much, Tui. Now, Tui's album Fly is available right now, and her national release tour kicks off in Auckland on Sunday before taking on six other centres around the country. You can check out her website for further details.